under substitution method, we are going to pick one equation, for example, equation number one. After picking it, we make one variable the subject of the other. So we have 2x minus y, everything is equal to a 4. Now I'm going to make y the subject of x. Okay? So I'm going to take y to the right hand side and then 4 to the left hand side. What does that mean? I'm going to have 2x. This 4 is positive. When it crosses the equal signs, it is going to become negative. And this y is negative. When it crosses the equal signs, it is going to be a positive. Okay? Now, afterwards, I'm going to get this y. I substitute it in equation number 2. So, I'm going to have 3x plus 4. Where there is y, I'm going to substitute 2x minus 4. And everything is equated to 17. So, I'm going to have 3x. I distribute this 4 equally throughout this bracket. So, that is 8x minus 16. Everything is equal to 17. 3x plus 8x, I obtain 11x. Everything is equal to, I carry this 16 to the right hand side. It is negative. When it crosses the equal signs, it is going to become positive. So that is 17 plus 16. So 11x is equal to 33. Implying that 11x is equal to 33, we divide both sides by 11. So the value of x is equal to a 3. To obtain y, we are going to substitute x in this equation. So we are going to have 2 times 2 minus, sorry, 2 times 3 minus 4, everything is equal to y. 2 times 3, that is a 6, minus 4, everything is equal to a y. Implying that the value of y is equal to a 2, and the value of x, we obtained it as a 3.